Okay. Chapter 14, 1.28 p.m. Temsic Park. The site of the little lady Camilla's abduction tonight. And the place where an important piece of evidence, the music box, was hidden. I wonder why our lady detective is looking so dejected. Dejected. At least she isn't dead. <laughs> yeah, that's a small miracle on its own. But what did she find? Or what didn't she find? All right. Huh? What's he doing here? La 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 la. Let me spend a moment's time with you, my love. The world will not end if the food delivery something something. A little late? It's already cold. Ice cold. Chef's hat. Swing. Swing harder. Oh god, don't fall though. Don't fall, buddy. Okay, spin globe. Boot. Leaflet. Leaflet. Love letter. A football. Russell. Close the umbrella. Rugby ball. Spin. All right, seesaw we can move. Tire, leaf. And our girl. Oh, there you are, Sissel. A mere de dejected expression, I gather. You didn't find what you were looking for? Right, I can't find the music box anywhere. But I found something else instead. Something horrible. Horrible? What is it? Is that a body? There, in the grass. You'd better see for yourself. It looks like a dead body. I nearly died when I saw it. And I suppose now that we've found it, we can't just leave it there, can we? No, I suppose not. What the hell? Dumpster lid open. Oh, man, we we saw this guy on like the first stream, and I don't even remember. Somebody called him. Was it... Who called him? One of the detectives? Was it the, the shotgun guy? Cabanella called the park and he answered. Oh... Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. You there. You're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you. Leaflets I know you'll be very interested in. I urge you per to peruse it thoroughly. Examine it in detail. Never mind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name? My name! 
What does my name matter when there are more important things to worry about? Okay. Come now and study these tracts with me, my brother. Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me. The night is no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching, but we are young. Look, I don't have time to get involved in your way of life, but I am interested in your way of death. So let's go back, back to four minutes before your death. And so I made up my mind. I resolved to live here in this park and defend it. Wait, it said eight, eight o'clock. This guy has been dead for like three, four hours. Cause it's like past midnight. No, more than that. Okay. And what does that have to do with this rock of the gods you mentioned? You still don't appear to understand. It's written quite clearly in the fourth leaflet in great detail. Excuse me, but I have to use the restroom. Eek. Oh, this is when she got kidnapped. I'll be right there! I've located the target. I've lo What? How did he sound again? I've located the target, beauty. A girl of the night age, right age coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. Yes, my dear. I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. Good evening, young lady. Won't you come with me? What do I do? What should I do? I have to do something. <gasps> what is that? that what in the world what just happened oh that's Mino 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 the mascot the symbol of Temsic Park forget about the name of that big creepy lunk of concrete I'm talking about the way it changed direction did you see that yes Yes, I did. We witnessed it with our own eyes. The power of the rock of the gods. That was the power of the gods. The power of the gods saved that little girl. And then that same power very deliberately crushed you instead? Yes! Yes, precisely. That is called the mischief of the gods. Was it the mischief of the gods or was it a ghost trick? But nah, I couldn't have been a it couldn't have been a ghost trick. No ghost trick could change the direction of something that heavy in midair. But wait a minute. What if there was somebody with much greater powers than me? Look at that, there's another flame beside mine. Ooh, that is the flame of the god, is it? But hold on, 
Your spirit is aflame too, isn't it? Yeah, so? Uh, pardon me, but are you a god? I sincerely doubt it. The last minute, that big lump of concrete made a huge swing to one side. That was probably that flame's doing. Who could it be? I definitely believe it's either a god or somebody god-related. Oh, maybe I'd better try talking to this person. What? What, what the? The person with much greater powers than me? Is it? Missile? It's... It's... You? Yes! <laughs> I miss this little doggy. <laughs> Sizzle! Not a god, but a dog. A good dog. Not a god dog, but a good dog. <laughs> oh my, it's... Sizzle! You look well for being dead. Did you see? Did you see what I did? I did it! I tried really hard and I did it! Miss Camilla! Are you telling me I was done in by a puppy dog? Missile, what's going on? How did you get the powers of the dead? I'm glad you asked! After Miss Camilla went out and you left... He died? I worked like crazy to make my own path, and I did it! Good boy! Good boy! And then I followed Miss Camilla out into the big wide world! And then, here at this park, I found her at last! I barked! You bet I did! And I went running after her, too! <laughs> and then I guess I died! Oh, wow... He got ran over by... I don't even know what that was. And then I was unconscious for a little while. When it came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camilla. Crushed under that big scary lump. Oh, oh, what have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. Miss Camilla! I had to rescue Miss Camilla. It was up to me. I cried out from the depths of my heart. And then... I can't tell you how, I su how surprised I was, but I bet you understand, right? Better than probably anybody else could. And I remembered what you did for me, how you saved me. So, you went back, right? Back to four minutes before the little lady's death. You bet I did! my dear, I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. Now's my chance, I thought. I saw the core. I don't know. It looks pretty far. I stretched out my paw towards the core. Oh, how I felt at that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it too. 
Go ahead, Sissel. Go ahead and try it for yourself. Is the dog our senpai now? All right, connect. I can't believe it. How could you connect over such a great distance? Well, they don't call me Missile for nothing. Hmm. And so then you manipulated that Mino thing and threw it aside? Right on top of my head. Well, uh, no, actually. Huh? I can't manipulate things like you can, Sissel. You can't? Then how did you... I didn't know what to do. And I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye. And it had a core too. A leaf. The one that she was holding. Lynn. A single leaf hanging from the tree. I tried reaching out to the leaf. Okay, it's getting way too crowded here. There's too many cores. Souls and dead people. <laughs> What in the world? I can't manipulate things, but apparently I can swap them. As long as the two things have the same shape, that is. Swap things with the same shape? Go ahead and try it. Press swap. That's incredible. And so that's how you saved your mistress, is it? And that's how I... And, and that's how I became caught up in this, is it? I'm very sorry. My powers were too meager. Meager? Because, you see, I saw one more. Mm-hmm. I happened to notice one more core. There was something with the exact same shape very coincidentally stuck in the branches of a tree. Hey, you're right. If Mino could be swapped again with that, then disaster wouldn't have to rain down on my head. But what is that thing? It's too big to be a leaf. Whatever it is, I'd much prefer it on my head than Mino. So why didn't you swap the missile? I couldn't. I can stretch my stretch out my paw a little further than you can, Sissel. This was just too far for me. I couldn't reach. I must admit, it's faci a fascinating spectacle of a death, if I do say so myself. I kept retrying over and over, seeing if there was anything I could do. I bet there's something you can do now. Huh? If we work together, you and me. Sissel, you think so? I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me tonight. Do you think you could help me? Of course! Naturally! So we're going to drop that Mino thing in a different spot. Okay, let's try it. Let's go back again to four minutes before. What about Missile, though? Alright, let's get started. Four minutes from now, you'll swap Mino with the leaf. And then you have to swap Mino with something else. Something with the same shape. Oh, I believe that's a rugby ball. Okay, rugby ball, huh? But with the rugby ball where it is now, Missile can't reach it. So that means I have to move it closer somehow. Looks like you and I will have to work together on that one, Missile. Okay, I'm ready! Whenever you want to use my swap trick, just press R2! That way, you'll be able to control me! And then, if you press R2... Control will come back to me. Okay, let's try it! Together, we can stop Mino from hurting anybody! But what about the... Doggy. All right, Missile. Your powers are the key this time. Okay, I'm ready. I can swap anything that has the same shape. Just call on me if you find anything you want to try. Probably the best thing to do is just try a bunch of things and see how it goes. 
And if I see something we can swap, I should use R2. All right. So basically, we're trying to... We're trying to move the rugby ball closer. Phew, here you come already. I swore to myself not to repeat my mistakes. Mistakes? When somebody's in trouble, you should lend them a hand. Oh. He was witness to the murder 10 years ago. Otherwise, you'll definitely regret it. And now the recklessness of youth has taken over, giving me lightning fast speed. Hmm, I've been thinking if we could stop this man from running, maybe he wouldn't get squished. It won't be easy to stop me once the recklessness of youth has taken over. Hmm, stop him, eh? big ball here wait I don't know what I'm doing it's too heavy the seesaw won't budge maybe because of that swamp I made I guess the little ball is about all the weight it can handle oh no What do you think of my lightning fast pace? Wish you would knock it off. That's what I think. We don't have time to prepare. I think we're going to have to find a way to stop him from running. Yeah. Use the playground equipment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, um... Not much we can do now. Is there? This is a this is a tough one. Oh, I can move it from here. But it's too heavy. All right, hold on. Switch. Swap. Move out of there. Switch control. Move this thing. Well, that didn't do anything. Thistle, did you see that? Did you see the seesaw? Yes, it sent that ball up just right, didn't it? So close! It's too bad it didn't hit the rugby ball and knock it down. Hmm, it really looked like it was going to. I guess this just isn't the way to knock down the rugby ball from the branch. But you know, I bet that ball and seesaw will still come in handy. <sighs> what? Where does he jump to? Hit the umbrella. Oh, okay. Here we go. Close the umbrella. I guess I didn't spin it. All right, now let's just see what happens. What are they saying? I was so close. If it hit the ball, it could have knocked it down. that all this umbrella can be used for for knocking the rugby ball down don't forget my powers but there's nothing else that is shaped like an umbrella is there they really want me to move balls around What if... Oh, no, it doesn't let me. Oh, 
What the actual fuck? Let's get a good look at what- oh, okay. So will the tire go that high? I guess- I guess that we need the tire. I just didn't think the tire went very high at all. play Dark Souls. It's easier. It's way easier than this. I'm getting close. Uh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. To remember that the baseball at the very beginning when we were first starting this flies over to the seesaw right We move the ball. What do you think, missile? Hmm, with the ball there, I think I can do it. In just a few seconds, you'll swap Mino with the leaf. And then from there, you can swap Mino one more time. The final moment is near, missile. Are you ready? Dude, so ready. You bet! Is there anything I have to do right now? Oh, do I have to control the dog now? Or is it going to do it automatically? Oh, it just automatically the dog will do this thing. Touches. You can do it, Missile. Swap Mina with that ball. Oh, it's over. Here, how's that? My head has been spared. Truly, that was a try worthy of the gods. And now Mino is right where he belongs. In the trash! <laughs> we did it again, didn't we? Didn't we? But the dog is still dead. Now nobody has to die! Except for one brave little somebody. Huh? I'm talking about you, Missile. Oh, me? I guess you're right. I'm still dead, aren't I? 
Now let's go back and save your life. Wait, but if we save his life, then he... That... No, what? Wait a minute. What is it? Now that I think about it, I think I want to stay dead a little longer. What? Wait, but even if we did go to four minutes before his death, if he's not dead, then he won't be able to save Camilla, right? When I was alive, I couldn't even help Miss Camilla when she was in trouble. I want to be able to protect Miss Camilla, and to do that, I need these powers I have now. I see. Perfectly understandable. Even I wish I had powers like that. Hey, we just saved you. Don't wish your life away already. Oh, of course, you're right. Okay, Missile, have it your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless Youth, there's a certain detective who needs that music box you found. When we get back to the present time, could you give it to her? Certainly, you have my word. Let's go back then, to the present. It was quite simple at the end of it, but it, it, I, my brain just couldn't do that puzzle. And so Camilla ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lynn listened to my story without saying anything. I'm sorry. I wish there was something else I could have done. No, oh, you did the best you could. I'm sure she's all right. After all... After all, she has me! Missile? Are you in there? Miss Lynn! Leave Miss Camilla to me! I know I don't look like much right now, but I'm sure I can help her! Missile. Till we meet again. I'm going to leave it up to Missile. It kind of looks like Missile is being left up to the wind. Ooh! I have something to give you. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. Aren't you forgetting your promise? Oh, pardon me, pardon me. My apologies, this is for you. Oh. You kept the music box safe, didn't you? Thank you. Not at all. I was only doing what the Rock of the Gods would have wanted. Did he run out of batteries or what? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? He's mesmerized by my beauty. <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of periods right there. Hey! The cat's not allowed to get your tongue. Excuse me, but are you? No, it couldn't be. Have we met before? Aren't you? Aren't you that little girl from that time? Yeah, he was there. I'll never forget it. It was 10 years ago in this park. 10 years ago? What are you talking about? What are we doing? Here in this park, the gods surely control fate. Today, ten years from that day, we meet once again. If that isn't the power of the gods, then what else is it? 
It could just be a coincidence. But apparently, you know our lady detective here. Could you tell us about it? About what happened 10 years ago? Yes, yes, of course. I was actually about to do just that. Rock of the Gods. What's this Rock of the Gods you keep mentioning? Don't you know? It's right there in front of us. Poor missile. <laughs> Wait a minute. You say gods, G O D S, but do you mean D O G S? Of course not. Don't be silly. This is no time for ridiculous word games. You are standing just above the rock of the gods now. Take a good look at that monument. Monument? Rock of the Gods, Temsic Park. The Rock of the Gods. The rock is buried in the ground right there. It's been there these 10 years. Okay. Ever since that day, it flew down from the heavens and showed us a miracle. A miracle? So this rock you've been talking about is a meteorite? Precisely! It dropped from the sky that day 10 years ago. Yes, of course. Surely you know all about it. Uh, me? Aliens. Aliens. That day, I just happened to be passing through this park. I had no idea that would change my destiny. The sun was going down and through the gloom, I heard the scream of a little girl. Ah! Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. I peeked out fearfully from the bushes and saw some shadowy figures. I didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. I knew I should do something to help, but I couldn't move. The tension was so thick it was painful, just when I couldn't stand it any longer. That's when it happened. The sky suddenly burned bluish white. When it crashed into the ground, the meteorite gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. And then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments pierced into the criminal's back. Well, that's quite convenient if we need to clear Mr. Jowd of that crime, huh? The judgment of the gods was brought down on the park that day. Ten years ago, the little girl that was you was saved by the rock of the gods. Oh my, I can't believe it. But wouldn't... I mean, wouldn't it be strange if he had a a wound? Did they not do an autopsy? The Rock of the Gods was given the name Temsic, and still today, it lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. 
I don't know. This is getting a bit too weird for me. I I never knew about this Temsic. I always thought Detective Jowd was the one who saved me. You were very young then, and you passed out from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course you wouldn't remember. But that's funny. A huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. It's strange you never heard of it, Lynn. It is, isn't it? But now that I think about it, I remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news and I never came back to this park again. That's why I didn't know anything about it. The meteorite was named Temsic after the name of this park that it fell in. And then the Rock of the Gods was forgotten. Now an awful thing is happening. They're talking about turning the park into a housing site. I'll never forget the miracle I witnessed that day. And so I've taken up residence in this park and I'm trying to appeal to the people. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. That is my mission. I see. I'm taking you with me, Missile. So 10 years ago, the little girl that was Lynn wasn't aware of the meteorite. I get that, but Detective Jout, on the other hand, there's no way he didn't know about this Temsic thing. And if he knew... And the man died, I took his life. What was that confession of his all about? The rocks from the gods that fell from the sky 10 years ago changed the destinies of many people's lives like the ripples on a pond when a pebble is dropped in. With every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. Will I be able to break the chain of mysteries before dawn? Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need, we decided to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there are a few things I want to ask Detective Jowd. We found the music box, Detective Jowd. Good job, Lynn. I knew you would. Once everything had been resolved, I had wanted you to give this to him. Him? You mean Inspector Cabanella, right? I don't suppose he'll ever forgive me. Detective Jowd. Now then, let's get this thing open. There's a certain knack to doing it, you know. <laughs> See? He calls that a knack? It looks more like brute strength to me. Here you are. You should find scorch marks on the grip. Scorch marks? When Camilla built her contraption, she used a special kind of string. It's a kind magicians use. It burns up in an instant and disappears. Why would little Camilla use something like that? I don't know. Maybe because she's a detective's daughter. Not leaving any evidence behind and all that. <laughs> in the in the case report, there was a mention of some scorch marks. When it happened, Camilla was watching from her hiding place. She saw the flame run to the gun, something she naturally didn't include in her design. I took the gun out of the frame and replaced it with a picture. If you remove the picture, you should find scorch marks behind it on the, fla on the frame, too. And those marks should match up with the ones on the gun. In other words... It proves the contraption existed there in, the, in that room that day. And it didn't work the way your little girl intended, is that right? Exactly. Some cowardly culprit mo modified the design. But that angle was never brought up in court. And so, as Justice Minister, 
I must call off the execution at this point. Finally! I knew I was right. It wasn't Detective Jowd. Now we can finally prove that. Thank goodness. Thank you, Lynn. In those eyes of yours, I see the eyes of that little girl from 10 years ago. Let's talk to this guy first. Hmm. What's the matter? I just don't know. What should I have done five years ago? Back then, nobody had any way of knowing the true nature of the manipulator. It wasn't anybody's fault that we didn't know the truth. Do you really think so? Of course. Besides, what's important right now is... Deciding what to do next. Am I right? She's right, Mr. Minister. Yes. Yes, of course. I do believe she is. Hmm. What is it now? Or what is it now? I just don't know. What should I do next? You'll figure it out. We believe in you. Sissel, if you hadn't come to my cell tonight, I would be gone by now without ever having known any of this. This is what I deserve. That's what I told myself these past five years. But things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes have finally been opened. Tonight, I've come into contact with a lot of people's lives and got involved in their fates. And the only reason I was doing it was to regain my own lost memory. But things are different now. We're connected to each other somehow. I just know it. And that's why I need to ask you a few more questions in order to find the truth about us. Fair enough. Fire away. Okay. So, the... Identity of the the man who the person who was killed by the man who was killed by the meteor. I wonder if that's somebody we know or not. It's a thin figure, so I mean it could be Cecil. Maybe he died and got revived and a bunch of crazy shit happened. Then he died again and now we're here. Or it could be, I mean, it looks like it could be Cabanella, but I think Cabanella's maybe a little bit taller than that. And either it's not him because he can't hear the ghosts or it is him, but he um, is pretending he can't hear the ghosts. We've met a lot of characters, but none with skinny legs like that. It could be somebody who used to be skinny and gained weight since then also. <laughs> so like, you never know. Or the shadow could be not a true representation of the body type of the the person. Cecil told me all about it, Detective Jowd. About the manipulator. Yes, and it looks like this manipulator did a really, really did a number on the minister too. Oh! Please don't pick on the minister. If he dies again, I'm the one who has to save him. Oh, Cecil, do you think? Do you think that's what happened to me too? Hmm. What are you talking about, Lynn? Don't tell me. You were manipulated too. There was always a part of me that just couldn't believe it. Or, I thought it was her talking. <laughs> the image of the one who shot me. But now I see the possibility of a new explanation. But... Who is it? And why did they do it? Aliens. They're aliens. 
They came down with the space rocks. The contraption was a birthday surprise for Camilla's mother, wasn't it? That's right. Something's been bothering me about it. I feel like I know that device from somewhere. No surprise there. Uh, no surprise there. You lost your life once tonight because of that machine. Right? I knew it! See, Detective Jowd? No, I'm afraid I don't see. I told Detective Jowd about it. I told him about seeing the exact same contraption tonight in a completely different place. Yes. Right underneath. Is that Cabanella's, um, his office? That's his office, right? He's got that guy, the blue faced guy down there working on it. A junkyard on the edge of town? I've never even heard of the place. It's the superintendent office. We've... Oh, the dude with the pigeon, that's his office. Oh, okay. I, I didn't... Okay, so there was a doctor and then there's a dude with the pigeon. I didn't know that he was the superintendent. I must have missed that detail. So what is a superintendent? Is he part of the police force? Like a manager type? Why would his office be in a junkyard for one thing? He watches the junkyard officially anyway. He's the superintendent of the junkyard. And what's more, I've never lost a single soul. I've never told a single soul about that contraption. Yeah. So the people who knew about the contraption are Camilla, Jowd, the wife, but she, well, I mean, if she died and became a ghost, she could have figured out how it worked and whoever the manipulator is. You haven't? Hmm, that old pigeon guy. Who in the world is he? Detective Jowd, you must have heard this name before. Temsik, the meteorite that fell in the park 10 years ago. You were there. So you found out about that, did you? I hear that meteorite saved little Lin's life. That's right. I couldn't do anything to help Lin that day. But in that case, I don't get it. If that's true, doesn't it mean you didn't steal somebody's life away? What are you talking about? Detective Jowd, you told me that 10 years ago, the person who killed the perpetrator in the park was you. What? But it was the meteorite. I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life away. No question about it. It was entirely my fault. I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instant if the meteorite hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. So in his mind, since he had he had the intent and the power to kill. He might as well have pulled the trigger. But that's not true! You were trying to save me! Lin, I'm sorry, but... I don't think that's really it. Huh? The truth about 10 years ago. On that day 10 years ago, a different incident happened in another place. Another place? Yes, in the police headquarters interrogation room. The worst sort of incident. A suspect who was being questioned escaped. Wow, I didn't know about that. 
I happened to be there in the detective division, so I joined the case. Fortunately, or I guess unfortunately, I was able to track him down alone in the park. Hold it right there. I fired a warning shot. I wanted to catch him. Bad. That warning shot made him panic. At the time, I was a young and green detective, brandishing my sense of justice like a sword. I made him panic and got you involved, Lynn. It was all my fault. Detective Jowd. All I could see was my target. I couldn't even see you. I'm so sorry, Lynn. So the man who grabbed me died that day. These last 10 years, I've never forgotten his face. And then a few years after that, when my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way, I thought it was fate, my punishment for what I'd done. I painted pictures in my cell, nothing but portraits of people's faces, all the faces of the many people I'd met in my life and didn't want to forget. Cecil, it's gotta be, and tonight, I finished the, my last portrait, the final face I wanted to remember. The final face. The face of the man in the park that day. Wait, just one minute. That can't be. I saw that painting. I saw the face you painted tonight. It was my face. Are you telling me I was the man in the park that time? That's right. That face of yours is the face I saw 10 years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole, of the man who was pronounced dead at the scene. But hold on, Detective Jowd. That can't be true. I just met Cecil for the first time tonight. Okay, but you've learned that people can be brought back from the dead. I mean, you of all people should, should know this, right, girl? And he died right in front of me. By the way, the name that I know the man in the park that day by... Oh, shit. It's not... It's not... Sissel. All oh, the music. Oh, you know, this is going to be good. Uh. So maybe Sissel has the face, somehow has that guy's body, but isn't originally him. We bring people back by making it so that they never die, though. Oh, yeah. That is true. All right. Isn't Sissel. What? In the first minute I laid eyes on you tonight. Wait, the lamp is the one that told us our name was Sissel, right? I've been wondering, who in the world is this guy? I, I... Mr. Minister. Inspector Cabanella, where are you? Just be quiet and listen. This is our demand. Cabanella? Come again, Cabanella? What? We found it on a piece of paper. Oh man, I gotta remember. Thought we were done playing I the Somni Files. 
<laughs> I hope we're never done playing I the Somnium Files. <laughs> Demand? Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be tonight. Once we've confirmed it's been carried out, we'll release the hostage. Is he being manipulated right now? Or has he been one of them this whole time? What are you talking about, Inspector Cabanella? And you know it wasn't my daughter who was abducted. Does it really matter who the hostage is? A life or a life? A life is a life. Even if it's the daughter of a death row prisoner. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. So somebody wants... Somebody wants... Jowd dead. Because of what he saw in the park. But he's not the only one who saw it, but maybe they don't know that. Oh, oh, I bet the trap was intended for Jowd, not the wife. Because they were both coming home together. It's the aliens. What is it, Mr. Minister? You look paler than ever. Oh, what in the world? What's going on? Inspector Cabanella! The rock of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago twisted the fates of many people and started a chain of tragic events. And even now, the chain continues to grow even longer. Inspector Cabanella's call proved that to us. And the greatest mystery of all has risen to the surface. Who is this me I've been chasing all night? I don't know. Who am I? Am I? I'm even further from knowing than when I started. getting to be the pu that puzzle was a lot for my brain and this story is getting to be a lot for my brain let's let's uh let that simmer a little bit let's let all that seep in